What's up guys, it's Atomic, bringing you guys another <laughs> Destiny 2 video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys where Xur is. Xur is going to be located in the EDZ, in the Winding Cove, where he usually is when he's on EDZ. And uh, just park your sparrow over here in the uh, makeshift sparrow parking lot, and then uh, make your way up. You can take the caveway or just take the shortcut. I don't know anybody that actually takes the caveway, unless you're... I don't know, a warlock and your jump sucks or something. But, um, yeah, so we'll be seeing what his inventory is. Uh, as per usual, he's got his exotic uh, faded engram. So if you're missing any exotics from Forsaken and before, I think that, um, you can get those exotics that way. Uh, Trinity Ghoul is the weapon this week if you don't have it for Witch Queen. Uh... I would definitely consider picking it up and getting the catalyst complete. Uh, it's actually a pretty, it's a pretty amazing bow when it comes to precision hits and also just clearing ads. Um, for the the hunter exotic, we have graviton forfeit with a total skill point of sixty, which just basically uh, just tells you what you're. You obviously know what that is, but uh, it has vanishing shadow on it, which gives you improved invisibility for uh, all you void uh, hunters out there that like to go invisible. This might be worth picking up if you don't have it for uh, Witch Queen, considering Void 3.0 is coming out. So this might be worth uh, worth the uh, pickup for uh, hunters. So that way you guys can start spamming your uh, invisibility and do some pretty decent builds with that. Um, uh, Chitons, Ramparts... Uh, are the uh, the Titan arms this week, the exotic for the Titans, which uh, basically lets you shoot through your barricade and uh, basically nerfs it. Uh, nothing too stellar. Got a lot of strength on there for uh, melee, so uh, nothing too fancy there. Uh, not really my kind of deal for a roll, I guess. I would much prefer resilience and recovery. If I was doing a uh, shield build. And then we got the uh, uh, Astrocyte Verse, Astrocyte Verse uh, helmet for Warlocks, which improves your blink in your uh, Nova Bomb trees. Uh, I forget which tree it is. I don't play Warlock a lot, sorry. But uh, basically, it just allows you to teleport further and more frequently. So with your little blink. Um, uh, ability for void so that might also be worth picking up for you uh, warlocks considering the kind of role that it has for mobility resilience discipline and strength which is all really good for uh roles i would assume i mean plus 15 almost if you plus 15 if you masterwork it in each of those categories so it's really really good um so onto the legendary weapons he, uh, Zer has. He has Enigma's Draw with full auto tr trigger system and rapid hit. Um, I, w I really wouldn't pick that up because full auto trigger system is a mod now, or full auto trigger at least is a mod. So there's no point in picking up a like or having that perk on your, your gun, basically. Um, and then for the second weapon, we have 7th Seraph Revolver, which has pulse monitor and timed payload which isn't too bad time payload is pretty decent considering the fire rate on this and then pulse monitor will automatically reload the magazine to improve handling when wounded and even if this weapon is stowed so that's nice to have for seventh seraph weapon if you don't have one for witch queen um you can do war mine builds with it war mine cell mods and builds with it which are pretty nice. Uh, and then on to the next weapon, we got another hand cannon, uh, Nature of the Beast, uh, with Dragonfly and Quick Draw. This probably wouldn't be too bad. Um, it's a 180, so it'll shoot just as fast as the Seven Seraph hand cannon, and it does arc damage. So definitely worth picking up, in my opinion, if you don't have a hand cannon with Dragonfly. But a lot of people just end up using Sunshot, so. Which makes sense. Um, on to our next weapon, Wishbringer. 
uh, shotgun. It's got moving target and field prep. Um, I'm not really one for field prep uh, perk because you have to crouch for it to work. It's not really uh, my cup of tea, I guess. I don't really like to uh, sit there crouched and wait for somebody or wait for something. Um, then we got the long shadow with hip fire grip and triple tap. Uh, this might not be too bad of a role if you're doing PVE content, but um, as far as PvP goes, I probably wouldn't pick it up if you're planning on using it there. You could probably get a way better role for PvP. Um, on to our next weapon, we got Interference uh, 6, which is the uh, a grenade launcher for your heavy slot. Uh, you got Swashbuckler and Field Prep. Again, Field Prep isn't my like particular favorite perk, but uh, Swashbuckler might be pretty good with it, considering uh, just getting kills with it, you know, buffs the damage on it, so that's not too bad if you're doing ad clear with it. And then on to our last one, it's Stars and Shadows. <laughs> and again, we got star uh, Field Prep again uh, on this weapon, so and moving target so yeah uh, if you like to crouch in pvp and pve and just shoot stuff that'll be for you and then the legendary armor this week is going to be some older crucible armor from a previous season so if you don't have those i would pick those up for the transmog um definitely worth picking up there for the transmog and then as per usual he has Xenology. Um, I just seen a post on Reddit where someone didn't have it, so I don't know if they if it bugged or something for some people or something like that, but I'm not entirely sure. But if you are still missing some exotics, you can do Xenology to get that exotic cipher and go grab a exotic from the uh, from the Moments of Triumph uh, thing in the tower where it has all those exotic weapons, or you can bring it back to Xur and get another exotic. So, uh, on another character for one exotic cipher. But that's pretty much it, uh, guys. I will say um, that uh, I think the uh, Xur uh, inventory is going to be changing in Witch Queen. He's going to start selling uh, Hawkmoon and VMT and stuff like that, so... Uh, I don't know how they'll work that in, if if we'll just have those as extra, or if we'll have the, uh, if that's going to be like the daily kind of weapon, or the weekend weapon, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, um, for Zero Location. If you guys like the video, leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a GM video for this week's GM uh, it's pretty easy, like shadows. Uh, there's a lot of like cheese methods you can do with it, but I'm going to show you how to do it normally. And then if you want to do the cheese methods, you can just go ahead and look for it. But that's going to be pretty much it, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.